Graham Hancock traveled to America to research his new book, America Before, The Key to Earth's Lost Civilization. I joined him during his exploration of the Carolina base in North Carolina in 2017. Two books have captivated the world's imagination. Graham Hancock's 1995 book, Fingerprints of the Gods, The Evidence of Earth's Lost Civilization, corroborates the existence of an ancient advanced civilization that ended in a cataclysm around the end of the last ice age. His second book, Magicians of the Gods, The Forgotten Wisdom of Earth's Lost Civilization, published in 2015, discusses the megalithic structures of Gobekli Tepe in southeastern Turkey and evidence for a comet impact 12,900 years ago. We started the exploration of the Carolina base with a stop at Jones Lake State Park. The park is situated by a pair of large Carolina bays partially filled with water. A map in the visitor center identifies the lakes, the woodland environments in the terrain, and the scalloped sand rims on the east edges of the bays that may be evidence of splash zones produced from the impacts that form the bays. The LiDAR image on the left demonstrates that the bays at Jones Lake State Park have the prototypical elliptical shape. The image on the right highlights the scalloped sand deposits. The Jones Lake State Park exhibit presents five hypotheses that have been proposed for the formation of the Carolina Bays, including a meteor shower, lakes oriented by the wind, artesian springs, sinkholes, and the idea that large schools of fish use their fins to create spawning beds. Park ranger Lane Garner explained that Jones Lake is about 30% of its original size because the only way that water gets into these lakes is through precipitation, which is why the lake is tea colored instead of clear. According to Garner, Native Americans around the nearby Lake Waccamaw used to call the area the land of the falling star. Jones Lake State Park has grills and park benches in a picnic area near the edge of the water. Swimming is allowed and canoes and paddle boats can be rented in summer months. There are also several campsites equipped with picnic tables and grills. Drinking water and a bathhouse are located nearby. The water in the bay is always like brown tea, and in the fall some of the trees are brown as well. In this photograph, Graham Hancock, George Howard, and Michael Davias conversed by the pier. George Howard is an environmental restoration specialist, the editor of Cosmic Tusk, and co-author of Firestone's 2007 paper about the Younger Dryas Impact Hypothesis. Michael Davies established a database of LiDAR images on Cintos.org and he calculated the intersection point of the Nebraska Rainwater Basins and Carolina Bays at Saginaw Bay. Santa Faia is a professional photographer married to Graham Hancock. She has taken most of the photographs in Hancock's books and has also co-authored books with Hancock. Randall Carson is well known for his exploration into the interface between ancient mysteries and modern science. He has researched the Missoula floods that flowed down the Columbia River Gorge at the end of the last age to create the Scablands. During our lunch break, we took the opportunity to discuss what we had seen in the morning. We drove to the rim of a Carolina Bay along a sandy trail. In this picture, Bradley Young, an explorer and videographer, prepares to launch a drone. Bradley has documented the scablands along with Randall Carson. From our earthbound point of view, we only see cornfields, cotton crops, or peanut farms, but the regular elliptical shapes of the Carolina base are clearly revealed from the air by the drones. In this picture, Santa Faia controls a drone while Graham Hancock and George Howard look on. We drove many miles on the North Carolina roads during our exploration of the Carolina base. Michael Davies provided coordinates for the roads with the best views of well-preserved bays. Graham Hancock went back to England to write his book. On May 9, 2018, he announced in his blog that he was writing from 500 to 3,000 words per day. In his new book, America Before, the key to Earth's lost civilization, 
Hank could find clues of a technologically and spiritually advanced civilization in the Americas that was destroyed in the global cataclysm that ended the last ice age. Hancock has meticulously documented his research by examining the scientific literature and by interviewing leading scientists. The U.S. edition will be published on April 23, 2019, and it is already available for pre-order on Amazon.